And here we are, peeps. Welcome to Scorched Earth. Wow, dude, this actually looks so good. Oh, is that a Pariser? There's a Pariser to my left. Look at all the foliage. Oh, Thorny Dragon. Hi, I don't want to go too close to you because you'll kill me. Dude. Oh, yeah, that's a Pariser. This looks so good. Oh, nice. Okay, Green Obelisk is right there. Oh my gosh, peeps. All right, let's start making our way over to Green Ob. Let me not just forever bask in the beauty of this desert oasis. But yes, peeps, welcome to Scorch. Today is going to be a short and sweet little episode because today my only goal is... Oh, wow, dude, that galley actually scared the heck out of me. <laughs> but yes, my only goal for today's episode is going to be taming the new Fasilo Suchus. Unfortunately, I am... Oh, there's raptors over there. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm a little late to the Scorched Earth content party, peeps, because unfortunately for me, I got, you know, the universe played a little April Fool's joke on me, and right as the month started, I got sick. But with, I don't, I don't even know what, but it super knocked me out, and I was feeling terrible. Thankfully, I'm feeling a lot better now, but I was super not in the mood to record while I was sick. So I'm glad I'm feeling better now. I can actually sit down and, and give a video my all. And, uh, and here we go. So, what did we bring from the island? We obviously brought our character, but we also brought Bubbles of the Baryonyx, which is our kind of main travel mount. I figured he'd be great for this map. Strong, quick, can really do anything. And we also brought a whole heck of a lot of just random stuff. I brought my full inventory. I brought actually two sets of armor, my flak, as well as Gilly, because I'm, I'm not sure how the fast low works, peeps. I don't know anything about it. I know that... I know what it looks like. <laughs> and, and that's about it. I don't know where it spawns. I don't know if it has a new taming method. I'm assuming it's gonna have a new taming method, but like I said, I'm, I'm just not sure. I'm going in completely blind for this, so it might take me forever to tame it. It might not. Oh, I, I brought two saddles with me. Well, I guess you could have the other one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the ghillie because... You know, now that I think about it, Gilly is really useful in, in hot climates, and that is basically all of what Scorched is. I should probably also make a tent as soon as I can as well to, to prevent us from dying to any weather events. So I'll go ahead and start doing that. But yes, peeps, before I, I we get into the meat and potatoes of this episode, I do want to say this episode is special. Sponsored. That's right, we do have a sponsorship for this episode, and it is none other than Nitrato, who has been kind enough to support us. If you peeps don't know what Nitrato is, they are one of the big dogs when it comes to server hosting. They provide servers for tons of different games, which obviously includes Ark Survival Ascended, and I've personally been using their services for all of my Ascended servers, and it's been a pretty pleasant experience. Their interface is really easy to use. The support team has been pretty on top of their game with helping me out with any questions or issues I have. And peeps, if you guys want to get your own Scorched Earth server, please go into the description or pinned comment of this video. You will find my affiliate link. And if you click that link, it'll take you to the Nitrata website. And any purchase made through that link will directly support my channel by giving me a small cut of whatever purchase you guys make. So if you want to support the channel, that is an excellent way to do that. I know a lot of you are probably looking to buy servers to play with your friends. But yeah, so a massive, massive thank you to Nitrato. And now let's get on with the video. So like I said, no idea where uh, <laughs> where the Fastlow spawns. So I'm, I'm going to be, I guess, aimlessly wandering for... Ah, oh, no! 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 <sighs> Always with the micro raptors. All right. Anyway, I'll bring you peeps back if I if I find the fast low. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best to not look up anything where it spawns. But if it's if I go like an hour or so without seeing one, then I'll probably cave in. There's also the oasisaur. I think. Ah, oh, why is there another one? No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah, oh, okay. Well, you know what? Fine. Just just hit me. You'll die. <laughs> look at all this preserving salt. Oh, nice. And cactus broth. Dude, I can't wait to see how good the, the drops are going to be for Scorched Earth. All right, but I'll stop delaying, and I'll see you peeps when we find something new. What is that? A dirt mound? Is this a phoenix ash pile? Did I just find a phoenix? 
Oh, it's a death worm! Wait, what? <gasps> Wait, no, that's a Fasolo! Hi! Whoa, you're big! It's a level 10! Hi! Okay, oh, wow. Okay, so it does, like, sand attacks. Okay, let's go ahead and get the Trank. So I'm gonna try to Trank it out first, I guess. We are definitely a lot faster than it. Oh, wow, look at it walk. It's like, it's like big lizard energy. I guess, I guess it is a big lizard. Okay, well, uh, I, I highly doubt that this is a knockout team, but, uh, we're gonna, oh, is that a Torpor run? Oh my gosh, it looks like it's already hurt. I wonder, uh, I wonder if it's Torpor to health ratio is really bad, because look at how much blood it's got on it. I think we're definitely gonna kill this dude before he falls asleep. Oh wait, you know what I guess I could do? I guess I could, uh, I could, I could try to do, do a bit of this. Hello? Oh, wow. Yeah, no, that is zero Torpor. <laughs> okay, so that is not how to tame him. Wow, he is... He's struggling here, peeps, isn't he? He's not hitting me at all. <laughs> all right. Whoa, did something break? No, what was that? It sounded like something broke. I think the snake is going to kill it. All right, well, I guess uh, we'll go ahead and kill this one. No special drops, but now we know what to look for. It's a... Uh, like a sand mound on the ground. Very interesting. All right, well, let's keep on keeping on. Hopefully, we find a higher level. I think what I'm going to try to do next, I'm going to is, is I'm gonna try to approach that sand mound on foot because I think they're slow enough that I can run away. And maybe we'll get some sort of prompt when we're at the mound. Like, maybe we have to throw meat on the ground. Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead, scan you. Oh, you can't even see what level it is. All right, well, let's go ahead and chomp on this guy. All right, all right. Well, here we go. Thankfully, I do have a... I actually have a cactus broth active already. Ooh, uh, give, me, give me some meat. Yeah, give me a prime meat. There we go. All right, you stay here, Bubbles. Uh, you know what I should do? What would be smart is if I placed a bed. Ah, I forgot I needed a floor for that. All right, well, this is going to be a little inconvenient if I die. <laughs> All right, hello, fast hello. Okay, so it seems like if if the last thing is anything to go by, when it pops up, also, what is causing this? Why are all these blocks here? ASA, why are your graphics so weird? All right, hello. Oh, I'm nervous. It's a level 25. Oh boy. Okay. So that didn't seem to work. Are you coming after me now? No. Interesting. Do I approach you normally now? Maybe. Dude, it looks really cool. But also not how I expected it to look. Okay, so, man, even with uh, Gilly and Cactus Broth, he, he sees you pretty well. All right, well, let's go ahead. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna break line of sight with this guy, try to get it to go back to it being at least neutral, and we will try this again. <laughs> what the heck? He's like went back underground, but like not really. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, I'm very confused on on how this works. I also want to know why there's all this Tetris going on in the sand. Ark, uh, wolf, please stay away. Okay, so there's definitely nothing I could do here, right? Like there's like I press E on this, nothing happens. What if I stay here? while it's doing this. Ooh. Oh, no! Oh, what is happening? Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that, uh, do not stay there while it does that. It will straight up sink you into the ground. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was terrifying. All right, so, uh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> All right, that mantis shouldn't see us with Gilly and Cactus Broth. Oh! Oh, God, Bubbles, you scary creature. All right, bu Bubbles can take care of himself. Okay, so now what I want to do is I actually want to sneak up behind it. We need a... Uh, yeah, I need you to go away. Yeah, I want to sneak up behind it this time. We still have our prime meat, thankfully, because we got all that preserving salt. All right, all right. Are you just a simple passive tame? I'd be pretty surprised. Okay, no. So I, I try to sneak up behind it, crouching with Cactus Broth and Gilly, and it still sees me. How do we tame the Fasolo? 
Okay, so apparently, peeps, this guy works like the concavenator from the Arc Editions mod, and you need to use explosives on it? Let's see, let's see if grenades work. And also, full disclosure, I did spawn these grenades in, and... Oh! That did something. That's new. Okay, so let's let's see if that actually gave it any torpor. Oh, dude, it really is like a concavenator. Okay, let's let it do that, and then we're gonna go ahead and spyglass it, and we're gonna see if that gave it any torpor. Because if it is like the concavenator, then we just need to blow it out of the ground. <gasps> no, no torpor. Interesting. Okay, so then there's something else I need to do when uh, when it comes out of the ground. Maybe I don't know. Maybe oh oh, that's that might be when I feed it. Right? Like it like it comes out of the ground and it's like, oh, what happened? Its mouth is open and I just chuck food into it. Like a like a dinosaur just. I don't know. Alright, but uh we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. I'm glad grenades work, because the worst part about the conca is that you need to make a mountain of C4. And that's why I never ever tamed them. Because they're just so much more effort than they're worth. Did you go? There we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna wait for him to actually make the sand pile, because I'm not sure if it'll work when he's <laughs> just Kinda just sticking his head out. Alright, come on. Alright, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna try and get a little close. Like, I'm gonna be, like, right here. And then I'm gonna smash E on him. Alright, go, 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 go! E, E, E! Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, I'm riding him! Oh! What is happening? Oh! Do I have to, like, hit him into rocks? Let's hit him into a rock! Come on! Come on! Alright, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm mashing buttons and it's not doing anything. Okay. I don't know what I have to do here. Do I have to- Do I have to kill things? Kill! Kill bug! Nope, that's not working. How- what do I do? Uh, kill- kill anything? No? <laughs> okay, well- well, what the heck? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm like, clicking all the buttons that I can. I don't- I don't know what to do here. Uh, maybe now I feed him? No? Maybe I have to use narcotics on him? Oh boy. Alright, but that should be fine, yeah, because it'll start spinning. Okay, let's, um, I guess- Try to use narcotics while we're on it. All right, here we go. Attempt number three. All right, pre-nade that guy. There we go. All right, that looks good. That looks good. Come on. There we go. Big boom. All right, and narcotic. Nope, that only that only affected me. Okay, what are we meant to do? Okay, hitting spacebar does nothing. Either click does nothing. Uh, just nothing's really doing anything. Do I have to, like, make him fall from great heights? <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, gosh! Oh, boy! Okay, um, alright, so I have to, like, make him hit destructible rocks. That is good to know. Where? Where is my baryonics? Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. That's so interesting. I, I actually like that. So we ha we have to make him run into destroyable rocks. I think. I, I wasn't actually paying enough attention to see if his torpor was actually going up there or not. All right, here we go for another attempt. Wow, that is actually really hard to see if you don't already know that it's there. It's like a giant Pelovia almost. Okay, so I wonder if hitting bigger rocks gives it even more torpor. All right, there we go. You are mine. Bam. All right, go. Okay, and let's let's hit this rock up here. See what this does. Uh, oh, oh, we're not actually gaining any tor. Oh, we are gaining torpor. Wow, it just sucks. There's no way this is doing this right, is it? Okay, but yeah, hitting rocks is giving us more control. So wow, you just need to be in an area that has like six bajillion rocks in it, I guess. <laughs> Because, uh, this is really slow. There has to be a better way to do this. Oh my gosh, dude. Getting, like, gaining control of him again is also really tough. Oh boy. And I think if he ever, like, goes airborne, that, that'll that kick us off, right? Oh my gosh, please. Oh gosh, dude. You know what sucks is that it counts if you hit plants, but the plants don't give him more torpor. Is this really... This is it? Is it losing torpor? I can't tell. It is! What? No, there has to be a better way. There's no way this is it, right? There's no way it's like this slow. 
No, maybe maybe we need to hit like metal rocks, right? Like if we hit a metal rock, that'll give us a lot. I don't know. Let's. Uh, I think I see one over here. So let's let's try to work our way over here. Unfortunately, I lose control every time he hits something. So this is going to be a bit of a process. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we nope. Never mind. Oh, there, and there's so much destructible rocks here, which I guess is kind of a good thing, but also kind of a bad thing because controlling him is not great. Oh, but here we go. Nope, there we go. There's another destructible rock. And I don't know where we're at now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Is there metal here? Have I been deceived? I think I was deceived, peeps. I'm not seeing any metal. Oh, no, no. There it is. There. I think that's metal. Is that metal right there? I can't. I can't tell. There's so much debris. All right. I mean, we're getting there, peeps, right? We're getting there. But how... This is a level 25. Like, how long would this take for an actually worthwhile level? We're also passing the metal note <laughs> no please go back no i need i need to go this way i should have gotten our baryonyx on follow is what i should have done all right well i mean again i guess this is contributing to uh to the torpor come on yes oh, come on i feel like i'm gonna i'm gonna end up destroying literally everything here oh here we go boom yep i was right metal node gives him way more Unfortunately, Scorch doesn't have a ton of metal on it, does it? All right, no, 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 no! Gosh, dang it, dude! Oh, that sucks. Is it is is all of its torpor going to be gone? Because if 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 all of its torpor is gone by the time I can get back on it, then that sucks. Then that really, really sucks. Oh my God! Get away from me, doggos! All right, it just went under again, and it. It, it attacked like three million hyenodons, so it's probably got no torpor now because it's just taken forever for it to finally calm down. But uh, there we go. And hello. Oh no! It didn't. It didn't run out. Okay, huge. Okay, let's uh, let's go this way. Oh please. Do oh my god. Okay, yeah, that works. That works. Now I think there might be metal up here. Okay, I I really did think it was gonna lose all of its torpor doing that. I'm so glad it didn't. Okay, I want to. I, I would like to go this way, Fasselope. No, we're, you're gonna you're gonna go off the edge again. You're gonna go off the edge, please, please. Yes, this way. Thank you. Okay, or we'll just keep hitting rocks. <laughs> no. Oh yes. Okay, this way, this way, this way. No, dude. I wish that trees didn't count. I feel like that's pretty unfair. That trees count, but don't give any torpor. Okay, please don't. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Go this way. No. Oh. Ah, oh, gosh. Dang it, dude. Ah. Okay, well, at least I don't have to worry about its torpor vanishing every time it gets distracted, right? That's that's a nice thing. I wonder if there's a reason to use better explosives. Like, I wonder if you use C4. Maybe that'll give it some torpor just from the explosion? Like, that could be a thing. I don't know. I kind of wish that I tested it. But I think this is the last one that we need... It should get knocked out from this, unless I get kicked off early again for no real reason, but hopefully that won't happen. All right, come on. Let's go more this way. I, let's let's hit the bigger rocks, Fasilo. Yep. Oh, actually, let's hit these bones. Actually, let's stay away from that because that is an edge. I do not want to fall off and have to do this again. But yeah, this is a pretty fun tame. Like, I, like if, if it lost its torpor, like if, it, if its torpor drained fast enough to completely lose it every time he got kicked off then it would super super duper suck but i'm glad it doesn't do that because now it's just it's just whatever right you just need one more grenade grenades aren't expensive to make oh but i i am curious to see how oh really going on the oil node kicks me off that's so lame all right well uh, let's try and lure him up here because that might that might be better oh come on yeah hit the bone hit the bone yes dude he gets so much torpor oh and another bone Oh, come on, we're almost there, peeps. We're all- Oh! Yes! All of that for a level 25. Dude, what is the pain going to be for a max level? <laughs> how, how, how much geology do you need to just decimate in order to tame one of these things? Holy moly. All right, but here we go. And what was that? Did I have a map? What is that? Apprentice treasure cachet map used to ping location of buried treasure have this in your inventory when you dig used to reveal coordinates What 
That's uh, that's part of the the new like Bob DLC, I think, right? Okay, can I do anything with that? Oh, oh, wow, that is really, really far away. <laughs> All right, well, I won't mess with that in this episode, peeps. I'll do more of that stuff in in Monarchy probably, but here we go. I have a whopping 12 bonus levels for this guy, and it should be eating uh, the second one any second now, peeps. And there we go. There we go. Whoa, why is the inventory so high up? I thought I was wrong for a second. All right, here is your Fasilo Sucha saddle. I also, full disclosure, did spawn this in as well. Oh. Dude, it actually looks really good. I'm not gonna lie. Like, this looks really cool to ride. It looks kind of derpy when it's sprinting, <laughs> just because it has, like, the big lizard, like, like, I don't know, what do you even call this? A, sh uh, a jaunt? <laughs> but, I don't know, it still looks really good. Oh, the tail is a little stiff. I wish the tail was more, uh, flexible, but maybe it's like that in real life. You know, I I'm not a lizard biologist. Alright, but here we go! Left click! Wow, that is quite a long animation. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's got multiple attack animations. Oh. Okay, so it looks like if you wait a second and then do a bite. Yeah, it's like the long bite. And then it's got these fast bites. So I wonder if that that applies venom. It must, right? Because then why, why else would it be so long? All right, so right click. Yep, that's the debris whip, and that takes not that long to come back. C, X does nothing, Alt, Control, R, Q. All right, very simple creature. And it looks like the debris whip stops things from attacking as long as they are blinded. So let's go ahead and hit you. Yeah. And then hit you with a Venom. Nice. Okay, and, and that has, like, the armor break sound effect, so I wonder if that, like like nullifies armor because that can actually be pretty good and what that damage is also really good okay let's go let's go attack this scorpion actually let's debris whip him what a whiff but uh yeah let's attack him so 95 97 99 102 interesting so we're doing more damage every bite like the paleo giga that's pretty cool. Okay. Um. Oh, how could I forget? It can go under underground. And this is quick. This is much quicker than sprinting. And thankfully, it doesn't lose control if you ram into things. Okay, so we can just chill. What if we right click now? That brings us out. Okay, let's go back under. If we left click, does it do that spin? Not enough stamina to activate Maelstrom. Okay, well, let's come out of the ground. Yeah, because we need to do that to regen stamina. And let's, uh, let's drown this poor little jug bug. Actually, no, we'll do it to the Dodicarus here. All right, so right click. Whoa. And what does this do? Do I right click again? Interesting. I'm kind of confused as to what the purpose of that is. Let's do it again. Yeah, let's do it while the Dodicarus is kind of here. Oh, it had that. It, oh, it gets in Venom from just attacking. Interesting. Okay, but it's not immobilized. Do I have to right click? Oh! Oh, left clicking changes. Okay, so now we're on Submerge. Of course, the Dodicarus has run away, so that doesn't really help us. Okay, let's try it against the Styla, because I don't think this Dodicarus is going to be of much use. Oh my god, the amount of flint. When did I get that much flint? Is this like a new stone gatherer? Naturally, the one time I want to hit a stone. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So if I bite these, will I get stuff? No. Do I have to be underground? Yes. Very interesting. Okay, uh, Bubbles, you stay here. Let's go Maelstrom this Thylacolio. All right, let's go ahead and use it here. Okay, so we're building it up. And, all right, it's immobilized. And now we can submerge it. 
Yes! Now, what does that do? Okay. Oh. So, it's just like a, like a big, big bit of damage. Oh, he can still attack me after I hit him with the debris whip. That's so interesting. Wow, I'm doing a lot of damage to him now, though. I'm guessing it's because he's envenomed? That's pretty cool. Okay, wow, I'm actually about to die. Okay, hold on. God, I need to, uh, I need to infinite stat myself. There we go. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit of a cheaty episode, peeps. I'm sorry about that, but, you know, we're testing a new creature. I'm None of this is, like, canon, right? It's not like I have a series on Scorched Earth yet, so... It's fine to cheat in this moment. Okay, boy. Let's go ahead and try it against the Dodicarus again. Oh, hold on, wait. I have, like, no stamina. All right, here we go. It does take some time to build up, and I wonder what's the largest creature that you can actually get stuck in this. Oh, wow. So that's pretty far away, and he's still got submerged, but he doesn't have that little bar above him anymore. All right, but here we go. Okay. I wish, I don't know, like, I wish that was kind of cooler. Like, it's kind of boring, in my opinion, that it just, it just does more damage. All right, but I guess, I guess that's it for the Fasilosuchus peeps. Kind of a basic creature, but and not every creature that gets added needs to do something crazy, right? All right, oh boy, yeah, that's, that's not going to happen. All right, but yeah, I, my original plan was to take this guy back to the island with me, but because we use cheats to tame it, I'm not going to do that because that is just not fair. So maybe, maybe we'll come back and get another one, but I'm, I don't know. Like, what is, what's the purpose of this guy? Because it doesn't seem to be a very strong fighter. I mean, I, it might be because it's a level 37 and it's already doing a lot of damage. So, you know, leveled and imprinted, this thing might actually hit really hard especially with that venom stuff but i just i don't really know what the purpose of the submerged thing is just again maybe if it's leveled and imprinted it'll do a ton of damage i wish i could check them out more but i i have to go peeps and like i said i did want this to be kind of a short sweet episode so thank you all so much for watching let me know if i've missed anything with the fast low i'll be taming another one of these in the monarchy season so keep your eye out for that i'm sure this will go up uh, yeah this is probably going to go up after monarchy starts so i apologize for that you're like a lot of other people are going to be uploading monarchy this is going to come out and you guys are going to be like where's schwab and monarchy right but anyway i'm rambling again i do that a lot i need to i need to get better at that but yes thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video Bye bye kind of ugly isn't he but like in like a cool way I don't know. I don't know. I like it. I like it, though.